Bramble Cottage series. Today's video is going to be slightly different as I introduce you to the first design plan for the dollhouse's interior. I will shift between interior and exterior work, so do not worry as there are plenty of projects left to complete on the outside. I always begin interior work in my dollhouses by finishing the kitchens first because I think that it completely sets the tone for the rest of the rooms and provides an anchor design-wise for me as I move through the spaces. Since I complete many of these design packages for work, I thought it would be fun to create one for the Bramble Cottage kitchen in the hopes of showing you all a bit more clearly how the kitchen will hopefully look once it's built. I always begin with project goals for each space, and in this instance, I highlighted the three most important ones for this design. I want the kitchen to feel cozy and welcoming, and you'll see in this example how the combination of warmer colors and careful styling really makes this room feel so inviting. Next, I of course want to create the impression that this mini kitchen is functional, so that means ensuring that there is a stove, a refrigerator, a sink, and any other tiny elements that I think would help sell that idea. Lastly, I want to include plenty of traditional details. From the kitchen cabinets to the wall treatments, I want the space to feel like a cottage kitchen that has been modernized. My next step was to create a mood board. These boards are always so helpful because I can hone in on the main elements that I think will bring the design together. In this case, that includes examples of flooring options that I really like, and most importantly, these moments of blue and white that will make the kitchen feel so special. I created a very preliminary color palette. I wanted this kitchen to have warm tones and be a bit more neutral to allow other elements to stand out. However, this is not set in stone. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently took a trip to Lowe's and walked away with so many color samples. I am not sure how I will avoid adding a bold color in here somewhere. The most helpful section for me was my concept board, which in this case includes a floor plan. I create my floor plans using SketchUp and used actual dimensions to determine the spacing and what I felt comfortable with within this room. This floor plan is not final, but for the most part shows the general layout. Because I created the design so that the natural light in this room comes from that missing fourth wall, I was able to use the other three walls for cabinets and appliances. The door frame that will connect the kitchen and the future dining room will have a transom window to allow for some more natural light, but I will be electrifying this dollhouse so it will not look dark. On the far right wall, I will place the stove along with the built-in hood and will add a couple of upper cabinets for storage. The opposite wall will house the refrigerator and I am putting the apron sink in the center island. This lighting plan is minimal. This room measures approximately 13 inches by 11, so I think four lights should be more than enough. I plan to add two sconces to the far back wall, uh, flanking that doorway, and two lights above the kitchen island. The goal is to create a kitchen that's really pretty and very interesting to look at from every angle, from every doorway, and for it to be one of the more beautiful rooms on that lower level. As I begin gathering materials for this build, I am interested in testing a couple of different kitchen cabinet styles. I recently started looking at these pretty kitchen cabinet kits from Melvin's Miniatures. They are pretty easy to build and they have a great YouTube channel to guide you along. Hopefully, my experimentation can help you in the future as you build your mini kitchen. Well, I hope you're as excited as I am to see how close we can get this kitchen to resemble the plan at the end. So remember to subscribe if you haven't for future videos. And thank you for watching.